since we've moved back to Manchester that I've started cycling, so I've always wanted to. And then it's only after I started cycling about with the kids, kind of in leisure time, that I thought, oh, actually, this is really fun. The kids love it. It's fine. It's not as scary as I thought it would be. And then that's just progressed into me being on my bike more and more. I like nature and it gives you lots of fresh air. I like the, to hear like the, the, the sound of the birds outside on my bike. It's more fun. You might get off to a worse start if you're going up in the car. The schools are lovely. It's a very family orientated place. It just it feels like a community. It's green. People here are generally, like, this, is, this is a bit of a vibe, a very welcoming, friendly, open vibe about the place. You know, Noah from being really little was on a balance bike and he just wanted to be out on it all the time. And yeah, I think that enthusiasm is definitely catching and I thought, well, if they can do it, I can do it. And they want to do it. Mummy, can we go out on a bike? Mummy, can we go out on the bike? It's fun with, all, um, with, my, with my family and um, when I'm going to school. Because we could play. Yeah, and we could ride around. It's definitely needed me to have a change of mindset to move from it being a leisure activity to actually I'm going to get on my bike to go somewhere without the kids even. Still find something and oh, I'm just going to jump in the car because it's raining or you know I, oh, I can't be doing with the kind of hassle of me and the kids on the road but actually as soon as I don't do that and I'm on the road it's like oh what, what was I even thinking every time so I just whenever I do have that thought about the car I just think remember <laughs> remember last time when you got back on your bike it's so enjoyable that now it, 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 it's definitely just a natural thing to do. It's so much better for us, it's better for you, it's healthy, you get an exercise, you have fun. Um, and so if I say, oh, you know what, we're going to jump in the car, I said, but mummy, why would we go in the car? Why can we not go on the bikes? It's not been hard for the kids at all. They've probably led it, they've made it happen and me not always necessarily healthy and I want that for them. I think the main thing now in Manchester is we need leadership, we need active travel leadership because it feels like there is, you know, this building noise around school streets and infrastructure is obviously a big thing so in Chorlton we're lucky that we, you know, we start to have a bit more of a, an integrated infrastructure to enable people, families to cycle. My biggest drive in terms of the urgency and the need for it has been the fact that like, I work with people who've got respiratory disease um, and I see the real impact that toxic dirty air has on them and the concern around what that's doing to our children actually the emerging evidence of the fact that it's doing our children a lot of harm. We need to ride bicycles more because because when you're in the car you don't get any exercise or fresh air. My um, children hope is for more people to ride bike bicycles to school. My hope for children is um, to have more school streets because then you, you'll be happier before you go to school and after. Um, so my hope for Cholton is that the momentum that we've built up around school streets um, and schools really embracing change and enabling active travel continues and that Cholton becomes a place where families can move around on their bikes or you know walking you know via active travel methods in a safe, secure and enjoyable way.